Welcome back to Recap. Today we are going to recap a 2017 horror thriller movie titled Revenge. Jan is enjoying a romantic getaway with her wealthy boyfriend until his two sleazy friends arrive for an unannounced hunting trip. As tension mounts in the house, the situation abruptly and viciously intensifies, culminating in a shocking act that leaves Jen brutalized and left for dead. Unfortunately for her assailants, she survives and soon begins a relentless quest for bloody revenge. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now without wasting any further time, let's begin shall we? Jennifer and Richard fly out to Richard's remote desert property. Before leaving, Richard's pilot gives him some peyote as a gift as Jennifer inspects the residence. Richard and Jennifer don't waste any time in getting down to business and begin mating. Jennifer is an American socialite who is having an affair with her married next door neighbor, Richard. Richard is intending to spend the weekend with his buddies before joining his mates on an annual hunting trip. However, Richard's buddies, Stan and Dimitri, arrive a day earlier than expected the next day. Both are taken aback by Jennifer's presence and enthralled by her beauty. Richard is disappointed by their unannounced visit, but he nevertheless invites them in. Jennifer goes to take a shower while the boys are left alone. Richard tried to keep Jennifer's affair a secret, but his friends already knew about it. Richard informs his buddies that Jennifer will depart the following day, and they will proceed with their hunting plans as planned. Stan flirts with Jennifer later that night, as Dimitri examines her with his binoculars. Richard dials Stan's number because his wife is calling, but Stan ignores the call because he is now completely focused on Jennifer. Richard later gives Jennifer the peyote and instructs her to keep it hidden from Stan and Dimitri. As a result, she conceals the peyote in her necklace. Jennifer then plays music for the males and dances for them, turning the night into a chaotic party. She then invites Stan to join her in dancing. Richard interrupts them when they are having fun and takes Jennifer with him to mate with her. Jennifer joins Stan at the table the next morning. Richard is gone making some arrangements, and Stan warns Jennifer that he won't be back anytime soon. Dimitri, on the other hand, is nursing a hangover. Stan and Jennifer are the only ones left now. Stan looks at Jennifer, expecting her to give him a hint. However, she excuses herself, stating that she must begin packing as she would be going shortly. Stan peeks out from behind the door while Jennifer is changing her clothing. Jennifer is astonished to see him and gets dressed right away. Stan gives Jennifer his phone number and tells her that she can call him if she wants to spend more time with him. Jennifer, on the other hand, declines, claiming that she will be too preoccupied with work to call him. Stan inquires as to why Jennifer isn't interested in him, and Jennifer responds that she loves taller men, and Stan is too short for her. Stan, on the other hand, believes Jennifer liked him the night before when she sensually danced with him. When Jennifer denies his advances, Stan begins improperly groping her. Dimitri enters the room just as he is going to force mate with Jennifer. Dimitri, on the other hand, ignores them and exits the room, rather than confronting Stan. Stan forcibly mates with Jennifer while Dimitri swims in the pool. When Richard arrives home, he notices Stan and Dimitri staring at each other, and he understands something isn't right. Stan informs Richard of everything that occurred while he was away. Richard chastises him for the mess he's made. Richard devises a scheme to entice Jennifer to forget about the incident by offering her a huge quantity of money. Jennifer, on the other hand, declines the money and declares that she wishes to return home. Jennifer threatens Richard by threatening she would reveal their affair to Richard's wife if he refuses to summon the helicopter. This enrages Richard, who slaps Jennifer. Jennifer realizes she has no choice but to flee into the desert, where she is pursued by three guys. Jennifer comes at a dead-end cliff after some running. Richard requests Stan's phone number and instructs his pilot to call Jennifer as soon as possible. However, he was merely bluffing when he pushed Jennifer off the cliff, impaling her on a tree. Richard informs Stan and Dimitri that they would return later to remove Jennifer's remains and resume their hunting expedition as if nothing had occurred. Richard was afraid that Jennifer would have notified the cops about them, and that they would have been sentenced to up to 15 years in prison. Richard returns home and burns all of Jennifer's stuff, obliterating any traces of her. Jennifer awakens in the meantime. Despite being impaled by the tree, she is still alive. She lights the tree on fire with her lighter. With the limb still penetrating her abdomen, she manages to shatter the tree. She hastily hides beneath the rocks when she hears Richard, Stan, and Dimitri approaching. 
The three men are taken aback when they discover Jennifer has vanished and realize they have made a mistake. As a result, they begin a hunt for Jennifer. They eventually uncover Jennifer's blood drops and trace the trail of her blood after a long search. The trail, however, brings them to a river. They realize Jennifer is no longer among them. Stan advises staying by the river to see if Jennifer returns, and Dimitri and Richard are sent in opposite ways to look for clues. Jennifer looks for a safe location to hide from the men while she tends to her injuries. She comes across Dimitri urinating himself in the river while trudging across the chilly desert. Jennifer takes advantage of the situation by grabbing a shotgun and attempting to shoot him. The gun, however, is not loaded, and Dimitri is able to subdue her. He notifies Stan and Richard about Jennifer over the phone. He then attempts to drown Jennifer, but she manages to get her hands on his hunting knife and stabs him in the eyes. Dimitri dies in the river after succumbing to his injuries. Jennifer loads up all of his belongings into her car and goes away. She seeks refuge in a well-guarded cave. Jennifer numbs herself with peyote before removing the branch. However, because the peyote is too strong, she begins to have hallucinations. She removes the branch and cauterizes the cut with an aluminium beer can after regaining control of her mind. Richard and Stan arrive at the river the next morning, hoping to find Jennifer's body. Dimitri's body, however, is discovered floating in the river. To escape suspicion, the two dispose of Dimitri's body. After that, Richard tells Stan to look for Jennifer in his car. Jennifer, on the other hand, wakes up after a series of nightmares. She then sets out to track down Richard and Stan before they track her down. Jennifer notices Stan's automobile and pursues him. Stan runs out of gas after a long journey and rushes to the gas station to refuel. Jennifer gets a good shot at him, but due to her injuries, she shoots him in the shoulder. Jennifer cautiously approaches the car, only to discover that Stan is fleeing from her. Stan manages to ambush Jennifer and fires at her, but due to his shoulder injury, he only hits her earlobe. Stan pursues Jennifer, but she tricks him and he steps on a large shard of broken glass. He gets the glass off his foot and gets back in his car, aiming to drive Jennifer over. Jennifer notices him approaching and takes a defensive position. She shoots Stan and kills him with a single shot. She then drives away with Stan's automobile. Richard makes an attempt to call Stan but receives no response. So he comes home and dials the helicopter's number, indicating that he needs to depart right away. He hears a disturbance while having a shower and goes to investigate. He lowers his guard because he couldn't find anyone. Jennifer shoots him in the stomach when he is caught off guard. She pursues Richard in order to put an end to him. Richard sets up a trap for Jennifer to fall into, but she sees right through it. Richard then uses plastic to wrap around his waist to halt the bleeding. Jennifer catches him, and the two try to murder each other by shooting at each other. With his shotgun, Richard manages to knock Jennifer out. Jennifer shoves her palm into his stomach wound, pushing him to drop her. Jennifer gets her shotgun and shoots Richard in the chest, instantly killing him. Jennifer finally exacts her vengeance and assassinates all three guys who used her. And this is where the movie comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed it, as always until next time.